Who is George King? To me, George King is my guru, my spiritual master. He was a man of God, a man that put God first above everything else. And he demonstrated that in the most practical manner by completely obeying the law of karma, which as he always said, it is the law of God, which is God. Hence his modus operandi was to activate this law of karma to create positive change for mankind. As an advanced yogi, the way he activated the law was selfless service, which was at the core of his sadhana and teachings. Service, service, service. He was a great yogi, but I think he was a bit more than that. He was a recipient of more than 600 messages from advanced interplanetary beings. Acting as a channel through his outstanding mediumship, he was the fountain where the waters of wisdom were able to flow and collect for everyone to drink. That essential water that makes all life possible. That water that without it, all life will perish into a barren land. Or in our case, without this fountain of wisdom, our world can turn into a wasteland of materialism. He was a messenger of the highest order, but then again, he was a little bit more than that. He was also a scientist and an inventor. An inventor who engineered spiritual energy batteries made of charged crystals and radionic machines so that spiritual energy can be stored and released at will to help during catastrophes such as wildfires, floods, earthquakes, and wars. He was this too, and yet again, a little bit more. He was a great warrior, a spiritual warrior that fought unfathomable battles in the lower realms, a master strategist that orchestrated spiritual missions to fight against the dark forces lurking there, forces of evil that were well equipped and well organized, supported by dark entities. In these missions, the forces of light were limited by karma due to our own wrongful doings and had to fight in extreme handicap conditions. He and his comrades, the warriors of light, fought against ridiculous odds. It was a mission impossible, but amidst all odds against his team, they succeeded. Therefore liberating us from impending doom which was due to befall upon the world due to our own negative karma. Yes, I know this might sound quite incredible to the masses and understandably so. At first reaction and at face value, how can someone take these last sentences seriously? But have we not heard the stories of other yogis from the past which are extraordinary too? With powers or CDs to heal, to levitate, to transmute their physical body into light, and travel around the world in seconds? Jesus? Krishna? These stories have been going around for thousands of years. Then doesn't the extraordinary story of the Master deserve at least a small room for inquiry and investigation, instead of treating it as something ridiculous? So I guess I can conclude by saying that this is my guru, a yogi, a messenger, a scientist, a warrior. He was all these things and still a little bit more.